Make it yours, making your own style. Welcome everyone to my own style TV. As you can see, we moved to another place this time. That's because in today's show, our topic is alternative lifestyle, specifically on vegans and tree huggers lifestyle. We will have two great guests, specialists in this topic and a very special surprise at the end. Our first guest is an important activist in the ecological world. Her name is Mariana Gonzalez and she will talk to us about the tree huggers lifestyle by Avenue Cali. Welcome Mariana. First of all, what is a tree hugger? Good morning, thank you for the invitation to the show. The exact definition of tree hugger is someone who works to protect the environment from destruction or pollution. There is a person who cares about the environment, but nowadays they prefer to call them eco-friendly person. Tree hugger is a word that my grandfather will use. Oh really? I don't know anything about it, I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry, it's normal. Us Mariana, are you eco-friendly when you turn off the lights or what? Why is that a lifestyle? Being eco-friendly goes far beyond just turning off life when you leave the room or separating your garbage for recycling. It's about changing the purpose of how you live. When you're starting to think in protect your home and you understand that you can do it, you start in eco-friendly world. And when the time arrives, how to become eco-friendly? You can start to become eco-friendly by becoming aware of the, how your shows affect the environment. There are three basic stages to becoming eco-friendly. They are learning to consume items that cause minimal environmental harm, discovering the extent of your carbon footprint and acting to lessen that footprint on the environment, striving to support others that work to live and produce eco-friendly and sustainable communities. As you can see, the first step is about you immediately acting to change the way you consume things in life. This means changing your habits about driving, what type of parking you use, how you dispose of waste, and now you get rid of The second step looks at the extent of your carbon imprint that you may not be able to change, such as living in a house, having to drive a car, or the type of employment you have and acting with the responsibility to lessen that imprint to the best of your ability. The last one involves actively seeking connection with other eco-friendly persons, communities and business and choosing to network and support them to create a more sustainable life. That may not be as easy as it seems, which is why it is the third step. To live in and support a sustainable community and economy you may not have of many convenience that you are used to. By far, this is the hardest thing to adjust to. And to finish this segment, how is the life of an eco-friendly person? It's very different to a normal life. Living the eco-friendly life has some advantage and disadvantage. One of the disadvantages is that may have to forego some of the more modern convenience. Not many, but convenience like fast foods and certain types of luxury activities to so little more than create a burden on the environment. One of the best examples is the idea of the personal car. While you may realistically need a personal vehicle, you don't need one that is made with luxury accessories or advanced electronics that are impractical and also consume little natural resources. But one advantage is sleeping with a clear conscience. Publicity. I'm Daniela and today's show we talk about the eco-friendly. Eco-friendly literally means being air-friendly or not harmful to the environment. You can develop eco-friendly habits to help you use less and make the most of what you have. For example, turn off the light in empty rooms or um, don't waste electricity or water. Today I will explain a little tip. Um, it is sad because my, my boyfriend is obsession with drinking boiling water and I had throw away plastic. So I was searching in the red and I found uh, this little tip. I have this.
this bottle of water. Uh, I put in the water. So I lay down in a plant and really I have a freeze dispenser and a more green plant. Now we welcome our next guest, Kelly Zapata. She is a specialist on vegan lifestyle. Can you tell us about what it means to be a vegan person? Uh, hello, thank you for inviting me. Being a real vegan means to reduce your diet only to vegetables, beans and fruits. And excluding all animal products. This means having a profound respect for animals' lives. That sounds hard, I guess. So do you mean no hamburgers, no fried chicken? Say no to all of them? Yes, but it must be as hard as it sounds. Because being a vegan has a lot of advantages. For example, you can help uh, reducing the animal uh, mistreatment, and you can improve your health and physical condition, and you reduce the environmental damage we cause to our planet. That's a huge difference. Actually, I only thought about veganism like a constantly diet. I never imagined it means more than that. Yes, you're right. Being a real vegan person is not only about the food. Being a vegan means to say right to the leather hold on all the animal products. For those reasons, being a veganist is a lifestyle because they have to change the entire way of living. So if I throw away my little jackets and my feet of pillows, then I become a vegan. Not exactly. It's a good start, but it's not only about it. Throwing away the animal products isn't the same as not thinking about them. For the vegan community, uh, the sole existence of those products are a crime against life of those If someone has any kind of relationship, with these products, they become unwanted person in your life. For this reason, the vegan community are very close among themselves, almost like a family with selective members. Well, that's all about vegan slides for now. Thank you, Miss Kelly, for your analysis. Thank you for inviting me. I hope it was helpful. Do you want to see us online? You can come to the Metro Park and look. Hi, in today's show, we're gonna talk about vegans. But first, what is vegans mean? Vegans means that you cannot eat, wear, or use any anything that comes from an animal. For example, you can not you can not use a leather jacket or a eat chicken. It's more complicated than an um, easy diet. Is is a lifestyle. Today we gonna do a vegan recipe. We need, need a pot. We first we cut it, and this is the recipe. Something like this. We put in hot water for 20 minutes, more or less, and half the pumpkin and crush it so then I put in here and add flour I mix a lot because we have a mix we made circle with the mix and we fry it in hot oil and this is the final results. It's vegan and delicious. The surprise is our last guest, Daniela Torres, part of our staff. We are accustomed to see her only in her section. Today we can listen to her online. Hi, finally I'm here with you. I was wearing this for a long time. Well, tell us, are you living a different lifestyle? Actually, I think so. I'm not vegan, but I am vegetarian. I can live without meat and products of animal origin, but I cannot live without pizza or ice cream. I like 
very much meal and eggs for example this jacket is 100% ecological and you can look good and in the same time help with the world wow i would never have thought about you but why it doesn't present thank you and what about you i've been living with a new lifestyle for the past five years really um can you tell me something about it nowadays young people of 21st century are interested on the successful in the workplace more than in their love relationship. That's why the pursuit of success or being recognized and admired to the others has been more important than having a loving affair. This reality is in part to be a lifestyle. Many of us are between the age of 28 or 40. We call ourselves as new cycles. Wow, how did it start? It started as a trend. A trend in one young people who have been successful, had less skilled, competence, self-confidence, and with a high cultural level. But with any partner or relationship or love relationship, then it becomes what is now a lifestyle. To us it doesn't matter if we have or not someone to hang out. Instead, we like to take time to be with our friends or family, traveling, shopping, and enjoy the life as much as we can, and most of the time working to make it a living. Wow, it, that sounds very hard to me. How can you live without any relationship? It doesn't feel long. Once a month, or when the occasion arises, some have single nights encounters. Nobody stays for so long. It's not our purity. They are looking for independent light without anyone who prevents us to achieving success and we conserve our kind of life good enough not to fit alone. Oh, that is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming, Daniela. It was a pleasure. And we will see you the next week.